It was earlier in the night that we called this race as well, the one for the open U.S. Senate seat in the state, Gary Peters, beating Terry Lynn Land uh, at right now, standing at 52 to 44 percent. We called that race earlier as well in 24 Hour News 8's Danny Carlson live tonight with a member of the Peters campaign team. Danny? Yeah, that's right, Brian. We're actually here with the communications director for Senator-elect Gary Peters. We're here with Haley Morris tonight. Now, Haley, talk with us. This win, not altogether unexpected, but still, how does it feel? We thought from day one it was going to be a tough race, and that's how we ran the entire time. I think increasingly the more people got to know Gary and see that he was truly an independent voice that they could count on for the middle-class families and to make Michigan strong again, he really started to seize the momentum, and we're really excited with the results today. And the other big race we're watching, Governor's Race, many agencies, including Wood TV, projecting Snyder re-elected. What are your thoughts on that? I think let's wait and see. I think that, you know, the Democratic turnout was higher than I think even Republicans expected. And there's a lot of momentum and enthusiasm on the ground from Democrats tonight. Thank you so much, Haley. And the live program here at the MGM Grand is expected to start just within a couple of minutes. We will have more reports on that, everything that develops through the night, throughout the evening here from the MGM Grand. Live in Detroit, Danny Carlson, 24-Hour News 8.